I've made you one. Milk, no sugar. Why are you here, Paddy? Um, I just wanted to talk to you in private, really. Uh, let you know about some changes we've had to make at work. Like what? Bell, you're just great. The clients like you, even vicious dogs like you. The way you got a pill down the neck of that exorcist terrier was just... It was genius. And you've come all the way here to tell me that? Your contract's up for renewal. And the thing is, we have some financial issues at the surgery. Um, it's more like a big black hole where the finances should be, really. And, 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 and I, I, I promise you, I would not be doing this unless it was absolutely the only option left on the table. Obviously, it's not much of an option for you. Are you sacking me? I wouldn't say sacking. Um, more like... More like letting you go. But when I say letting you go, it, it's technically kind of... Yeah, sacking you. I'm so sorry. But you've just said that you're happy with my work. And I am. We are. We just haven't got the money to pay you. And, and until we do... This wasn't your idea, was it? The partners have made a joint decision. The partners? There's three of you. You wouldn't dare try fire me if Vanessa wasn't off sick. It's absolutely not true. Jamie's idea, isn't it? Where is he? I just can't tell you. Paddy, where is he? Home farm. For the horses. I, I don't like horses. You know that. You might be a pushover, but I'm not. If he wants me out of a job, he's got a fight on his hands. If you've got something to say to me, have the guts to say it to my face. You're so spineless, you sent Paddy. He's spoken for you, then. Obviously, and I'm not going to let you do this. Well, the last few days you've been difficult, OK? Obstructive. Yeah, you know why. It's obvious we can't work together. And you're calling me unprofessional? Your contract ends soon, OK? I don't think it's in either of our interests to let it continue. You came on to me. If anyone should be sacrificing their career over us, it should be you. I'll give you a good reference, OK? Use my contacts to find you something else. No, I want to keep the job that I've got. Well, that won't be possible. Sorry. You will be, Jamie. You cannot sleep with me and then sack me because you've gone back to your wife. Trust me, you've got more to lose than I do. Look, if even thinking of talking to Andrew... You're making an idiot out of her. And you've used me. She deserves to know what kind of low life she's married to. Look, I understand this has come out of the blue, OK? You're angry, you're upset. My but... boyfriend adores me. And I cheated on him with you because... You made me think. I thought that we... Were... I'm just trying to limit the damage, OK? To be fair and reasonable. I... Good luck explaining that in court. No matter how you try to spin this, it's unfair dismissal. I'm off straight to a solicitor. And then what? And then what? It won't just be my reputation that's damaged. Look, don't take me on, Belle, OK? You'll never win. Look, I'll make you a payment. OK, how about that? Four months' salary. You think you can buy me off? No. You say you're nothing like your mum, you're worse. I'm just trying to do what's right by everyone. Yeah, now you've gone crawling back to your wife. No, I... I saw you together in the cafe. And yesterday she was waving the underwear around, telling me what you two would get up to in bed. How do you think that makes me feel? She was lying, Dad. He would say that. I'll see you in court. Look, Andrea wanted to. OK, last night she was all over me, but I... I couldn't do it. Whatever. I turned my back on her. I pretended I was asleep. Like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even touch her. Because the truth is, Belle, the only person that I really want is... is you.